ready to crack on and just want to give you a little insight about my channel there's going to be a lot of content come to the channel all aspects of home DIY DIY gardening general DIY tips uh, building and construction videos there's also going to be a lot of content coming on my koi pond I build and, and what works for me filter system I use DIY skimmer DIY spitter DIY venturi filter cleaning filter media water changes pond maintenance and, and a lot lot more so with all that said let's get into the video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe yes yeah, so I'm just going to do a video on how I drain down my tank that leads to the pond at the moment it's all full of um, of media in there it's got alpha grog filter floss and also some green netting which is very good media so yeah so what I normally do is I'll drain this tank down from there I normally put a, a, a flat hose on that which leads out to the drain and then what I'll do is I'll turn the water off from that valve from the pump that's in the pond I'll also turn off the UV clarifier because if there's no water running through that you don't want that to burn out so once I've drained this down all I do is pump air down that inch and a half pipe that inch and a half pipe goes down to the bottom of the tank and round the tank with loads of little holes in it so I'll blow air down that inch and a half pipe that will bring up all the muck and dirt and then I just drain off with that valve there to the drain yeah yeah so I've got the uh, flat holes connected now that's just secured with a couple of Jubilee clips then I drained down my tank and I took out all the media, all the alpha grog, filter floss and then um, I'm ready for the flush out now so what I normally do is uh, that inch and a half pipe there I'll blow air down that that will flush all the muck and dirt from the bottom and go out there and basically the pipe goes around the tank that's got loads of holes in it and um, that flushes out the water and stuff like that I also put that uh, inch tube around there only because I'm putting um, some heavy media in there like the upper grog is quite heavy when it goes in so that just supports that area there so it don't break the pipe at the bottom so what I normally do is I'll fill this tank up again halfway with pond water Then I normally open the valve about a quarter of the way to start off with. Then I'll start flushing this tank out. Nice and easy. That goes off to the drain. As you can see, the filter floss is really dirty. 
I'm going to give that a good play. There's my alpha grog. I don't claim the alpha grog, so we just don't claim that. But the filter plus, we definitely claim that. So as you can see, that's giving that a good flush out there. I'll probably do this flush out um, three times. So once you see that water clear, that's a pretty good indication that you've got all the muck and dirt from the bottom of the tank. You've flushed it all out. So give that another go. already starting to look uh, really clear. Just empty that fully as it happens. So yeah, that's how I clean and flush out my tank that leads to the pond. This method is really really effective. I'd like to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.